All right, so if you don't have access to uh, the ocean or the ocean is flat for uh, a period of time, which is what we're experiencing, but you do have access to a lake and, and possibly a boat, um, we like to throw the surfboard behind the boat and have a good time. Some people will wake surf. We don't have a boat that's gonna create a big enough wake so we go with the old rope and handle and we pull ourselves up and have a good time on the lake. And we're gonna show you how to do that right now. You can use a short board such as this. This is a 6-1. Uh, I've also done it with a long board, which is also a lot of fun. You can practice either kind of ripping your turns or kind of carving on a log board. And it's actually really good practice and also exhausting. So if you're gonna go out and use your surfboard, you wanna make sure that you're gonna a wax effectively, especially obviously where your feet are going to be. It's not like just kind of surfing, falling down and getting back up on the board. The wax is going to wear out really quickly. You're going to slip off your board and you're going to kind of be out on the lake and it's going to be uh, not usable. So make sure you wax effectively and you might want to think about wearing a, uh, a life jacket as well just kind of for your own safety. Um, but be careful about where you're putting the buckles on the board in terms of scratching it up and also taking the wax off. There we go. A good time. <sighs> now I'm exhausted. What do you think about your daddy surfing behind the boat? That's that's what I think too.